neighborhood in Stevens County and going after livestock. This photo of the big cat was taken by a fish and game officer. That cougar killed a goat and came back for the meal this morning. New on Nightside, our Kyle Simchuk spoke to neighbors in the area. He joins us now live, and Kyle, they aren't necessarily worried here. Well, yeah, Aaron, they tell me that all the wildlife is what makes living in their neck of the woods so special. But that being said, they would like to see this cougar do its hunting back up in the foothills where it came from. This isn't the type of cat in a tree you'd call the fire department to come get. They're saying approximately 150 pounds or so. This hungry cougar made its way down from the foothills behind Jennifer Nelson's property Thursday afternoon looking for a snack. And it found one in her neighbor's yard. Unfortunately, their sweet pet was killed. A pet goat tied to a stake was no match for this predator. After that, Fish and Game was notified. They immediately were on scene, tracked the cougar with their dogs. Nelson feels pretty safe where she's at. Her neighbors are a sheriff's deputy and a fish and game officer. They chased the cat up a tree, hoping to scare it away. But this morning, it was back. Apparently, he wasn't able to eat the goat, so he was going back because he knew he'd killed it and he wanted his meal. Once again, Nelson's neighbors and their dogs chased the cat up a tree this morning. You can see it growling at them only a few hundred yards away from Nelson's 20-acre property. But she isn't worried. He's a mature cat, so if I had my choice, I'd rather have a mature cat who knows what he's doing rather than young foolish cats who are going to try and attack my rescue horses. While the goat may be a goner, Nelson doesn't want this cougar to be killed, and she hopes it finds its way back up into the mountains. We've got mountain lions, we've got bobcats, we've got everything out here. That's part of the beauty of it. You have to respect it. Uh, take all precautions you can for your farms, your animals, your family, but know that they're here too. Just last week, a cougar killed a mountain biker outside of North Bend. It was later shot and killed. Now, cougar attacks on humans are extremely rare. There's only been two fatal encounters in the last 94 years. Live in studio tonight, Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 Nightside.